Hey guys, uh, welcome to my first video. Uh, in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to design the turbine of a turbocharger. So I'm using Autodesk Fusion 360 and I'll be showing you the various sketches and features that I've used to create a turbine for the turbocharger. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we want to do is create a profile which will generate the base for the turbine. So I've used lines and a spline curve to generate the sketch and now I'm going to revolve this profile revolve this profile over its own axis this axis and then we get a feature like this and once that is done the next step we want to do is we want to generate the blades now for generating the blades uh, the method I'm going to follow is I'm going to create a surface first which represents the blade and then use a thicken feature to thicken that surface and make it a 3d uh, object so for that I am going to first draw a curve on first draw a curve on the top plane, on this plane the base plane for the turbine and then I'm going to draw another curve on the top plane here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a curve like this here which forms the base of the turbine turbine's blade and then the next one here which forms the top of the turbines uh, blade and the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I need to create a path for the uh, surface to follow so for that I need a plane which uh, can which contains these two points and I need that plane to be uh, tangential to this circle here so for that I'm going to draw a line and uh, which is tangential to this circle and then I'm going to use that line and these two points to create a plane like this. Once I've created that plane, it should look something like this. Let's see. Once I've created that plane, the next thing you want to do is create the path. And once you've created all of those, we just need to create the surface for which we can use the loft feature. Select the first profile select the second profile you see that the surface is forming and let me just hide these sketches so that things become a little more clear then once we've gotten that we just need to select the guide path guide profile and once we have all of that there we go we have a surface ready so this surface represents the turbine blade now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create I'm going to thicken this surface to about say 2 mm with some soft edges and there you go the blade is ready so once we have done that the only thing left for us to do is create a circular pattern select this object uh, now select the axis decide how many ever you want I think five should make it look good yep and then once you have created all of that there we go so using these simple steps you can generate a turbine for a turbocharger now how it looks how it you know you can use uh, different methods uh, you can actually create a hole for the turbine uh, when you're creating the first profile itself depending on the axis that you take so there are different ways to do it but uh, broadly yeah this is how you can approach to designing a turbine for a turbocharger thank you guys thanks for watching and stay tuned for the design of the scroll casing for a turbocharger if you like the video hit the like button and do subscribe